Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Eat Purely Cook Fresh. And today, I'm not sure we're really cooking. Today we're chopping and mixing, really. Um, And we always sort of joke in my family about whether, you know, are you cooking if you don't actually turn on the stove? So anyway, we got a great recipe, great summer salad. Uh, Fourth of July is coming up. Great, easy thing to take to all your Fourth of July barbecues and picnics and whatever else you're going to be doing for the fourth. So this is called Firecracker Shrimp. It is dedicated to my friend Julie Coxroot from high school. She's the one that sort of gave me the base rep- recipe. Of course, I've, you know, I've modified and, and, and been creative about it. So you start off with uh, corn. This is two frozen bags of organic corn, of course. Um, and you can use fresh corn, and I would just flash, uh, f- uh, drop it in boiling water. And um, if not, you can just use frozen corn straight out of the bag. These are the ingredients. We've got corn, of course, lemons, uh, red onions, organic poblana peppers, which I was really excited to find, um, organic jalapenos, and organic tomatoes. You also see um, we're going to use a little salt, and we've got a herbe mare, which is a uh, an organic seasoning salt. They have um, several var- varieties. This one is without salt. It's their basic one without salt. So um, I like to control my own salt, so that's why I like to use the saltless one and then use the uh, Celtic sea salt. So as you can see, it's really easy. We've got five ingredients, and um, it's going to create a great salad. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with um, actually what I consider my base dressing for everything now. A couple of lemons, a quarter cup of uh, uh, organic olive oil from my favorite store, Strapaggio. This is the Mission one, which has a little bit of a bite at the end. I really like it. It's a little full-bodied. And then, of course, the salt and the Herba Mare. The Herba Mare I get at the DeKalb Farmer's Market, for those of you in Atlanta. Um, But you can get it on Amazon. Or check your local food store or, uh, you know, your your organic, you know, Whole Foods or whatever. Um, So what you do is you cut the lemons in half. And you squeeze them and put them in the bottom of a bowl. And then, of course, you get all the, the seeds out. Then you pour in the olive oil, salt to taste, and the herba mare. And then you whisk it together. Um, this, is <laughs> this is the dead lemon shot. So, as you can see, I've uh, squeezed the lemons out, whisked it together. And the salad dressing over on the right is going to emulsify and it will actually emulsify and hold together it does not separate the lemon i prefer as an acidity over the vinegar i just think it brings a a brightness and everybody who eats this is always like this is delicious what did you do so after you make the dressing you cut up all your veggies so what we have here is red onions uh, the poblano peppers i didn't didn't cut the tomatoes because i knew i was going to keeping this around and if you cut the tomatoes it's something you're going to have to eat immediately and then a jalapeno jalapeno is totally optional if you don't like the heat or if you like the heat you can you know even add a hotter pepper if you want then you just dump all those ingredients into the bowl with the corn and you mix and then after you mix you get this amazing looking firecracker corn salad and there it is so as you can see it's very bright and festive and cheery Uh, the red onions really bring a nice color if you can't get a red onion of course you can use a white onion Um, I don't put any garlic in this. I put garlic in everything, but not in this. But if you want to add garlic, feel free to. Cucumbers is another great addition. But once again, if you're going to do cucumbers, make sure that you uh, are going to eat it that day. They're not going to hold up. But this salad held up in the fridge for me for a week, as is uh, because I didn't cut the tomatoes. Now, the last little bit is, is always, always, always remember to recycle your cartons and do the compost. So you see my compost um bowl in the bottom and my uh, uh tomato carton that's going to go into recycling so i hope you enjoy this recipe it takes about 10 minutes to fix <laughs>